Hello, hello, D-Class. I am here with my friend Hatchet, the butt buddy, the lord of 33 I was about hatchets. to say, did I get demoted? Nor normally, normally you say with my butt buddy Hatchet, this time you just, with my friend Hatchet. I was about to say, did I get demoted? Are we no longer butt buddies? <laughs> we have to follow each other in Among Us again to get back to being butt buddies. Oh, man. <laughs> oh man, we're probably not going to play Among Us until my birthday. <laughs> I'm hoping to have my fish deck pretty well close to like being a usable deck by my birthday so we can play a couple rounds. Right. That's just a side thing. What what's what's the what's what's the what's the SCP agenda? Before that, I'll say uh my opening intro to this. All I right. forgot that you do that. All right, so this is how uh, a pig speak in different countries. French, oink. Germany, oink. America, stop resisting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a decent bait and switch there. <laughs> I was getting so ready to just lambast you for how lame this joke is. <laughs> Could also said, hands where we can see him. <laughs> All right. Oh. Anyway, the SCP we're going to be hearing about is SCP-1861, a.k.a. The crew of the HMS Wintersheimer. Oh, is this? Oh, this is the one where like the the people go on the submarine and then they lose their like they they turn into water with teeth and eyes. Oh, yay! Anyways, might as well as read it. I was about to say, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's let's hear no. some people die. <laughs> Just because you said it, we're gonna wait five more minutes. Okay. No, I'm... I mean, I'm fine with that. Like, we can. All right, everyone. This is now a fish stream. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about all the fish that I'm learning about. No. Uh. It, this is very appropriate because there's one viewer, and that's just me, probably. Um, so, uh, t today, uh, my mom sent me down the path of, uh, looking into tuna, right? What my mom's like, like, I asked my mom, what, what should we, what, what, what should I add next? And she's like, tuna. So then I look into tuna and now there are like five different species of tuna in my deck, including, uh, a tuna that I, I, I cannot get over the name of is dead ass called a little toony. <laughs> little T U N N Y, <laughs> little Toonie. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, Hatch. Before I start the, uh, the SCP, um, do you, you do want you... to talk about Little Toonie? No. <laughs> that, do you... uh, did you see what I do with my user profile now? Uh, you mean the nice little fancy GIF that Jerry made for you? Yeah, but if you click on my on me, you'll you'll see something else as my banner. Something else as your banner. Gotta scroll all the way up because I'm down in the thing. <laughs> it's amazing. It is pretty. That is, that is very good. That is nice. I'm not even actually watching stream. Maybe I should do that. Anyways, but on to the SCP. SCP-1861 is an anomalous meteor meteorological phenomenon characterized by heavy perci Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> already, already fucked up twice. This is not looking good. <laughs> Shut up. My, I had a my tongue twisted for some reason. 
Your it sounded like your tongue literally imploded on itself. <laughs> anyway, heavy precipitation and fog composed. Heavy pre- <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> fog composed of salt water, human blood, and human uh, cerebral spinal fluid. Cerebral. Whatever. You've heard that word before, <laughs> Bright. It's fine. Come on. Come on, Bray. <laughs> I'm going to be keeping a tally at this point. <laughs> How many times I misspeak normal words? Yeah, or at three. <laughs> Sorry, I had to eat some salt. Anyway. Some what? <laughs> Do I add that as well? Some salt? <laughs> what is some salt, Bright? <laughs> Uh, uh, some salt. There's some salt on my plate from fries, so I'm eating it. Salt, not salt. It I sounds s- like it sounds like you cut yourself off from saying sultan. I, I say salt differently than you. Fuck you. All I, I know is that it's salt. not. Pre- yeah, yeah. You literally are just calling it salt now. <laughs> you know what? I'm adding that to the tally. We're at four. <laughs> anyway, SCP. Salt. Shut up. <laughs> SCP-1861 manifestations are unpredictable, appearing spontaneously, and with no regard to an affected area's natural climate and weather patterns. Manifestations typically occur once every three to six months and have been recorded occurring in numerous regions across the world. Historical records have confirmed that SCP-1861 has existed since as early as the year 1916. The size of the area covered by SCP-1861 varies from ins- instance to instance, with the largest recorded affected area measuring approximately 5 kilometer, but wait, 5 per square kilometer. Aside from its manifestation, composition, and apparent connection to SCP-61-A, SCP-1861 1861 displays no additional extra extranormal properties. I almost, I almost said I almost said 1681 instead of 1861. 1681. <laughs> my, my, my tongue just decided, you know, let's just switch the numbers. <laughs> Uh. Anyway. anyway, Dash A is a single underwater marine vessel vessel that closely resembles B class boats used in the British Royal Navy in World War One. During each SCP-1861 manifestation, Dash A will attempt to surface in a body of water that is large enough to contain its full mass. Both natural and man-made bodies of water have hosted manifestations of Dash A. If no body of water is large enough to contain this, contain the entirety of, of Dash A is present. Dash A is present. Dash A will surface in any collection of water with a surface area large enough to encompass its conning tower and topmost platform, even if the collection of water in question is only several inches deep. Dash B are humanoid entities that emerged from Dash A during SCP-1861 phenomenon. Dash B are dressed in full body suits resembling deep sea diving gear, although with no d- discernible source of air supply. Instances of Dash B are uniform in size and possess speed and strength typical of, a, of an adult human male. Although, although most instances are sentient and capable of speech, approximately 9% possesses limited intelligence and are all are only sentient. Instances that are incapable of organizations, similar to the cries of domestic felines, canines, and similar, and infant humans. Diving gear worn by Dash B instances is anomalously durable and cannot be removed except for the instance presently wearing it. Wearing it. If an instance of Dash B encounters a human subject, they'll attempt to persuade this, the subject into entering Dash A, claiming that this action would be the subject's best interest. Subjects who refuse may or may not be forcefully taken 
to dash A depending on the temperament of the dash B instance. Human subjects are lured into entering dash A will reemerge during subsequent SCP-1861 manifestations as dash B instances. If an dash B instance is taken outside, SCP-1861 SCP-1861's area of effect, it will begin to experience accelerated fatigue and, and lose consciousness, becoming completely inert until reintroduced into SCP-1861. After manifestation of SCP-1861 has ended, Dash A will disappear along with any remaining instances of Dash B. Additionally, blood, cerebral spinal fluid, and, and salt water left behind by 18, 1861 will instantly convert into regular rain water. Is that right. it? Yeah. Okay. So, a after after we came to four, we got up to six. Shut up. We we've got vespel instead of vessel, and containus instead of contains. Shut up. Very good, bright. I want to eat more salt now. At least it's not salt. 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 <laughs> Elias, would you like to drink salt? Is it bad that I've actually drank a small cup of salt water? Wait, what? I've actually done that. Okay. <laughs> How did you get the salt water? Like, what kind of salt water? Oh, I just went over to the ocean, put my cup in it, and drank it. Yes, Bright. That indeed is bad. I was thinking maybe you were less of an idiot and just mixed a bunch of salt into some tap water and drank it, and that was the joke. No, you walked up to a gigantic body of water that um, that is not clean, that fish and all of the other life on Earth shit in, that's probably polluted all to hell. You just dip your cup in and drink that. You're lucky you weren't shitting yourself. Anyway, I think this is a certain group. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was also the same day I, I kicked a dead puffer fish into the ocean instead of <laughs> instead of picking it up. <laughs> Why did you feel the need to do that? <laughs> I ended up cutting my foot. Yeah, yeah, no shit. No shit. Didn't you say that you weren't even wearing shoes? Yeah. Why would you why would you kick a puffer fish? Specifically, apparently one of the species that has sharper spines with a bare foot. Were you high on this day? We're getting more information about this particular day in the life of Dr. Aaron Bright. It's the one she she used her bare foot to kick a puffer flesh. Puffer flesh. No, you're puffer doing fish. it too. <laughs> My curse. To kick a puffer fish. I haven't added any puffer fish. How have I not added any puffer fish? I love puffer fish. What was I talking about? I don't know. Right, um, you kicked the puffer fish, got, 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 you know, your foot fucking cut, and then, on the very same day, you thought, you know what's a good idea? Let me just dip my fucking cup into the ocean water. Let me just get all the p potential pathogens and bacteria and, and fucking shit from various animals and pollution. Get all that into a big old cup and let me just drink that. I like salt. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, I just just put this in certain group. Let's move on before my brain implodes. Apparently, uh, this is before the Keter one. This is not a Keter, but apparently there's an SCP nicknamed the Selfish Toothbrush. Hmm. I see. What does that mean? <laughs> Laptop is running low on battery life. So, uh, we just, you just oh, gonna sorry. sit here and be silent on your own stream? <laughs> sorry, I was looking to see what uh, the selfish toothbrush was. Sorry. Anyway, actual next SCP. Um,. They are. By the way, you know you could just be sending the pictures for this in, like, the actual live stream chat. Oh. Like, in, in Discord. Oh, yeah, I could do that. I forgot we had Maybe a make, Yeah, make stream planning a little less cluttered. By the way, I'll have you know with that, uh, um, with that, uh, blobfish meme I sent you, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I'll have you know, my first instinct was to actually say Dr. Brightface reveal. Oh my gosh. But then I realized it might be just a little bit too mean. Yeah. So thanks. I changed it to self-deprecation. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> The next if it was toast, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> no. Anyway, the next SCP is SCP-1879, also known as the Indoor Salesman. Spoiler. It's buffering. Why is it loading? I don't know. Anyway. I can't see the image. My life is suffering. There we are. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, I think I remember this guy, too. The guy that just randomly shows up at your door and desperately wants to sell you some and just random bullshit. Right. Yeah, there was actually a person who animated a song about this SCP. Hmm. That's a very noble cause. And it's actually really good. I can send it to you later. No. I'll probably forget about it. I'm too fixated on fish. Anyway. SCP-1879 is a phenomenon that affects houses in the state of Washington, USA. It has been noted to only affect interior doors, which are hereby designated SCP-1879-1. These doors are visual unchanged, visually unchanged. However, when a sapient <laughs> visual unchanged, shut up. <laughs> These doors are visual unchanged. <laughs> However, when a sapient organism comes within two meters of an SCP-1879-1 instance, repeated knocking animates from the object. This continues indefinitely until a subject opens the door. Don't see, dare say a word. <laughs> emanates. Emanates. Instead of emanates. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. You make it too easy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, a male humanoid entity, hereby designated as SCP-1879-2, will emerge from the Dash-1 instance. The entity is approximately 1.7 meters in height and appears to be of Caucasian descent and indeterminate age. After emerging from the door, Dash-2 will attempt to sell a product to the subject. 
The products appear to vary widely in purpose and origin, as the entity has presented a variety of objects. The entity will dramatically explain the purpose and appeal of the pro product of the subject. All right, product of the subject. <laughs> oh, there's two in a row. I was gonna ask, did you, did you mean variety of objects? A variety of objects, yeah. Yeah, because you sound like you said verity. Oh. Uh, yeah, but why, why did That's I say four. why did they change product to the subject of 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 the subject? Why did they say of? <laughs> Alright, that's four. Uh, appeal of the, the product to the subject after concerning them or suggesting they sit down before doing so. The explanations and tactics utilized are often not particularly persuasive and the entity uses underhanded methods to sell its product. After fully explaining, the entity will then offer a price. Said price rarely costs of currency and often is detrimental to the subject or the subject's health. The entity consistently refuses to elaborate or comment on the definition of its prices unless it decides to raise them, which it often does if the product is not accepted and paid for quickly. Dash 2 is persistent in its efforts and refuses to leave the subject alone until the product, product is purchased. However, if it is sufficiently threatened or wounded, the entity will temporarily retreat back to into dash one, which he will then revert back into a non-anomalous store. It will re later return with the same house via a different door and confront the subject, attempting more aggressively or even threatening them to purchase their product, as well as increasing the price. Once the product is purchased, the entity will thank the subject and exit the area area through and dash one instance. Wait. Okay. Wait, I decided to see one of the things that that was um one of the objects. <laughs> one thermonuclear explosive. Yeah. It's it will it'll probably be fun to read through the uh what is it a, are are these all in addendums? Alright, there's only there's only three objects. That are listed. Yeah. Well, I mean there is four. Okay, I guess I'll read the four the uh, first one. Object received, nothing. Price statement, nothing. Results, nothing. That's the first example. No, it's just completely blank. <laughs> oh, it's not even redacted. It's just blank. Yes. What? <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. Object received. One red rose. Price statement. All I'm asking for is your heart. Subject expired due to the demanifestation of his cardiovascular system. That's more than the heart. That's the cardiovascular system is like all of the veins too. <laughs> you just took all this person's veins. <laughs> Object received: two hundred and twenty bananas. <laughs> what would you do with that many bananas? Um, find an elephant. <laughs> I just see the product statement. Give me some sugar, sweetie. Uh. Results, all candied goods within the house disappeared. Yep. <laughs> Object received. One thermonuclear explosive. Price statement. I want your soul. Alright. Subject hesitantly complied after encouragement. No notable effects happened at the scene of the exchange. However, the subject later discovered two of her Aretha Franklin albums to be missing, which were named Lady Soul and Almighty Fire. So, it wasn't the act. 
the person's actual soul, but just albums that had to deal with person's soul. <laughs> So yeah, that's a palace is a keter. I mean, I get it because they can't catch him, but it's not all that dangerous because it doesn't look like they're always asking for something that's detrimental to their health all the time. Because there's like two that just they wanted candy and albums. And that's it. Hatchet? Oh shit. Hatchet's gone. <laughs> hey, Hatchet. Uh, what the uh, hell happened? You just disappeared. My internet. My internet took a shit all over my life. Yeah. I I stopped being able to hear you after uh get uh, all I want is your soul. What happened? Oh. Alright, let me go back to it. Uh subject hesitantly hesitantly complied after encouragement. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No notable effects happened at the scene of, of the exchange, however, the subject later discovered two of her Aretha Franklin albums to be missing, which were named Lady Soul and Almighty Fire. He didn't even want their actual soul, he just wanted the albums. He wanted the, just wanted their vinyls. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I just saw what the MTF force is called that deals with this SCP. What? MTF RHO-4, aka Shoe Salesman. Now that tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the only thing that would make this a keter is, is that they can't catch him. Like he can leave. Well, yeah, obviously. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is the only thing that makes him a keter. He like that's that's the that that is the basis for something being a keter. They can't catch it, or it's hard to catch. Well, and it only looks like only one of the products that so far that we know of. Only. Uh, revealed in the subject's death. The other two times, they just took shit from them. <laughs> yeah. That. Yeah. They just replaced uh, the subject's candy with bananas. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's healthier. Yeah. Depends on which hole you put it up. No, I th I think it's healthier either way. <laughs> either way, wasn't here. Um, either way, certain groups. Yeah, he's not all that dangerous compared to the others so far. Yeah. God damn it. We have a lot of certain group SCPs. We do. Because, like, that's the thing. Like, it's... it's I just noticed something about the animation in Mortal Kombat that made me laugh. Um, like, a lot of SCPs are like that. Like, they are significantly dangerous to people who are right next to them. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, they aren't going to cause a significant amount of damage. 
Yeah. How, like, for instance, one of my favorite Keters is uh, um, the Al Graffiti. Mm, yeah. And, like, it could do some really major damage. Like, it could do it. But ultimately, pr- probably not. As long as the SCP Foundation remains on top of it. Not anyway. Yeah. Also, uh, I'm going to say this this picture is probably not going to fit at all with the article. But this is the only picture when I looked up this SP, it only showed one picture and this was it. So. Wait, let me take a look. See here. Go check. It's loading. It's loading. It's loading. It's continuing. It is. It is. What? <laughs> what? There is oh one. Yeah. I don't think it is because of its nickname. It doesn't. It, the, the picture does not match. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the next SCP is SCP eighteen eighty seven, Quantum Mechanics. Oh God! Am- Hatchet. It's acting fuck. Yeah, Hatchet. You're kind of like in and out. Can I be heard? Okay, start speaking again. Can I? You, no, you are cutting in and out. Oh my god, why is my, why is my computer hate me? I clicked. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently speaking. Okay, speak again. Okay. Okay. Please. Okay, I can hear everything you're saying, but randomly your com- cons- uh, computer will just like pause you and continue finishing what you're saying like a few seconds delay. <laughs> Hatchet, you're back. Hatchet? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, Hatchet, I'm gonna describe what it sounded like to me. It was like, hey, Hatchet, how are you do that? That's what it sounded like. I clicked on the image and that happened. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. All I did, I clicked on the image and Discord fucked my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear everything you were saying, but it kept giving like a few seconds delay. <laughs> no I hate <laughs> my existence sometimes. Right. Anyway, you may right. continue. All right. SCP-1887 is a collective of molecular organisms, the properties of which are not fully understood. Wait. Wait. Back up. What? A collection of what? Molecular. Yeah, because you said memec... Like, there was several M's where they shouldn't be in that word. (laughs) I think I stuttered when I said it, and I didn't even realize it. I mean, I got my headphones in, so I can't really hear myself. It was something like monocular. <laughs> or monocular. <laughs> monocular. <laughs> monocular. All right, give me a second. You're going to name yourself that. I would never do something so crass. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know I said that. <laughs> There was actually a person that I met before that said 
no, I had to say that word is molecular, which is no. Where did the E A R come from? This is. I. Uh. Anyway, I am now monocular. Monocular. Yeah. Uh, before we continue, uh, apparently I found out there's an Irish word uh, that you have to be very careful at saying. Unless it means a uh, snicker, you know, like uh, a, a snickering it's a form of laughter. Yeah. I sent it you in DMs. Didn't even give me the pop up that it normally does. Why? I'll not be saying that word. <laughs> now you see why. <laughs> why did you even bring that up? Oh, I was watching uh, uh, Danny Nogla and he said it. Oh. And his oh, friends no. were giving him shit for it. <laughs> oh. 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 Anyway. On with the SCP. In spite of their small size, instances of SCP-1887-1 are and feared to be extremely complex due to their behavior and apparent sentience. When introduced into an artificial structure, SCP-1887 will proceed to disassemble the construct of, at a quantum level through an unknown process. The release of energy from the splitting of the nucleus is then absorbed by SCP-1887. Absorption is not perfect in the release of non-ionizing radiation to in the ultra ultraviolet spectrum and lower is typical. Giving SCP-1887 its distinctive red hue when it is active. SCP-1887 will use the particles of the disassembled atom to construct new instances of SCP-1887-1. Once its members of SCP-1887 reach approximately 3 billion, the collective will split into approximate, approximate halves, and both will continue growing, typically one half with more several meters away from the previous instance before consuming. When not in contact with artificial construct, SCP-1887 will remain in what is presumably a state of hibernation. Huh. Is that it? Well, they also have a, a little... A singing poem that you do when they do deconstructing. All right. Chip away every day. There's a wor world to repair. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. To bring back this old Earth's, ca Earth's care. We won't stop. We won't drop. Until we fix what you stole. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. Making this world beautiful. No more towns means no more frowns. We will take it down at all. Inch by inch, it's a cinch, making you all animals. Is that a threat? No, Bright. It's not a threat that they're saying that they want to get rid of. Rather, get rid of what? Oh, human con. Oh, no. Dead. Discord's fucking with you again. <laughs> like, you're lighting up, but you're not. I can't hear anything you're saying. Hatchet? Uh, uh, Did 
that you are cutting out really badly. All right, let's just go to intermission while we're waiting for this. So yeah, so we now know everything about these. They're just really, 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 really small organisms that eat the uh, eat things. What a what a wonderful description there, <laughs> Doctor Bright. A standing ovation over here for Doctor Bright. What a what a groundbreaking way <laughs> to narrate what was said in this SCP article. Shut up. We need more information to tell how like overall dangerous they are. Like, do they multiply? How like how do we deal with them? Yada yada yada. How fast do they work? Uh... It is not said how fast they work. In fact, when we went through the first addendum to see, oh, maybe it'll say something else when it's a, a view, view the rest of the addendum. No, it just shows you pictures of where they were found. God damn it. Ah. So yeah, we have no idea how fast they can go. Oh wow, they can get as loud as 56 decibels. Jeez, uh, so and... Wait, so that's just like just below average human speaking, if I'm not mistaken. So they j they can get up to about the sound of us speaking. Damn. Either way, um, we don't have enough information to make an educated guess here. Yeah. Ah. Uh, All that we know is that they uh they're trying to stop it from, uh growing they found nothing to destroy it but they're just trying to stop it from growing right now and it's not successful oh how fast do they what? well it doesn't say this just says it's in a containment locker 1887 oh wait like it's entirely contained well oh, hold on SCP-1887 is kept at Area 17 in a naturally formed stone bowl within Containment Locker 1887. Contain Containment Locker 1887 has been lined with sod in order to prevent growth, should SCP-1887 escape its bowl. Okay, so I guess they have stopped it. Uh, this is... Like, yeah, it's, like, incredibly dangerous if left unchecked but we don't know how fast they can spread yeah i i'd put it in what the fuck tier is that or spood tier and i don't think that this deserves spood tier all right well now i get the image that they sent cause it, it it they did say they glue a uh, glow red in the areas yeah. they're at, and there's red. But why is that the only picture? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Just, it, just don't. It looks like someone just fired an explosive at just one really small hole. <laughs> right. That's what? generally not what explosives look like. It <laughs> Chew says, "Yep." Oh, look, we're going back to joke SCPs. Ah, I love those. All right, let me just is this you... one going to make me laugh, or is this one going to make me question humanity? And then laugh. I just sent a picture. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe clicking on it won't alter for... What? <laughs> what is... This is just a lady. Yeah, so... Why is there... <sighs> Why is there just a lady at a computer? Okay. Okay, uh, their nickname is Typhoid Mary. Uh, 
going on. Well, it's just actually being a Keter class SCP. That's extremely dangerous. <laughs> All right. SCP-1938 Dash J is Dr. Mary Ann Walker, a level 2 anthropology researcher currently employed by the Foundation at Humanoid Containment Site 06 3, with the enormous ability to infect any electronic device with a multitude of viruses, malware, and spyware within hours of use. SCP 1938 J also has a catastrophic effect on the behavior of the site information technology and security personnel, forcing them to laugh uncontrollably, break down into tears, then become incoher incoherently angry at life. This ability is suspected to result from SCP 1938 J's inability to, inability to understand that all those R word. Click me emails aren't actually telling you what that you won some stupid prize or that a human that a hundred puppies will die if you don't forward the goddamn thing. SCP 1938 J came to the attention of Site 06 3's technical staff following an incident in which she reported sluggish computer performance and requested assistance. The responding technician performed a, a cursory inspection of the affected terminal and discovered that its hard drive contained a physically impossible amount of viruses. You want me to read the addendums? We don't need to read the addendums. This... So, what did I say? Is this SCP going to make me laugh, or is it going to make me regret humanity? This is the latter. <laughs> this is just, this is just dumb. Yeah. Luckily, I instantly stopped myself when I saw the R word. Yeah, it's, yeah, unlike, unlike a certain <laughs> time lately. <laughs> oh no, I, wait, was Chew there? I don't think she was there. No, uh, we we don't need to tell Chu. We could tell Chu. Chu I think Chu deserves to, to know. Don't I think Chu hatchet. deserves to know what what happened hatchet. lately. Listen, listen to the boss. Don't listen to Hatchet. Chu's just probably confused the hell. Or not paying attention. Fair. Apparently the next SCP is also a joke SCP. Fucking wonderful. <laughs> okay, so what? I don't know where to put this. This shouldn't be a Keter. It's just a lady. Like, Wait. it's literally <laughs> just a lady. Wait. Just... just... I want to. I want to read this one of them. I'm too busy watching Twitter die, and no, I'm not joking around. Oh, that's fair. I want to read this addendum real quick. Okay. It's a researcher note. Not funny, guys. This was me and quickly out of line. Dr. Mary Ann Walker, researcher, anthropology department. Win five thousand dollars in cold hard cash. Click here to register for our free daily drawing. Need more oomph in bed? Show your girlfriend how a real man feels. Gain three inches overnight. Free discreet online gambling. Join today and get 50,000 free chips. Wait, can you actually click the links? Oh, no, you can't. Damn it. That would have been great if you could actually click and it sends you somewhere. Uh. Wait, wait, no, there's, wait, there's more. In small, tight font. Sexy porn poker, awesome, awesome great, amazing, free, safe, winner, totally not a virus. Let's see. I'm caught up on what Chu said. What's this about Twitter dying? It's the new Keter SCP. <laughs> Wait. I just realized 
in special containment procedures due to your risk of a TK class technological collapse event. SCP 1938 J is, is to be kept away from anything with a goddamn network in interface at all costs. That's, just, that's the entire special containment procedure. This is, this is reassign. <laughs> All right, you ready to hear the next one? You know how the sun was a joke, SCP? Yeah. How about the moon? Okay, great. <laughs> I guess the moon's made of anomalous cheese and there's aliens on the dark side of it. Wait, its nickname is called Stone Sphere. My brain is still fixated on the whole Twitter dying thing. What? Okay, that's fair too. All right. SCP-1960-J. Oh. What? What'd you say? They said, oh. Hold on, I'm finding a source, but everything is moving so fast. Oh. Yeah, anyway. SCP-1960-J is a free-floating sphere made of white stone, which moves in a continuous circular path, despite lacking any visible means of support. Or propulsion. In addition to his unusual movements, SCP-1960-J uh, J exhibits a number of anomalous properties. Uh, Dash J appears to absorb and or suppress sound. Personnel in close proximity to Dash J have reported being unable to hear any external noises. From a distance, Dash J is nearly uniform bright white, but darkens appreciably, appreciably as it is approached. It appears dark gray from close range. Dash J exhibits spontaneous extreme variations in temperature despite processing no apparent internal heat source. Its temperature has been observed to vary between negative 200 degrees Celsius and 120 degrees Celsius with no corresponding change in its structure or behavior. Even when Dash J's temperature is within the range of that humans find comfortable, Unprotected contact with Dash J is uniformly fatal. Living beings that touch it asphyxiate and die almost instantly. And only heavy duty full environmental suits have been observed to prevent this effect. It draws nearby objects, including living beings, towards it as if it's exhibiting a compulsive effect. The strength of, of this compulsion increases as one nears Dash J, reaching a maximum strength of. 1.62 I don't even know how to say this so I'm just going to say everything that's in it m slash s up of thing I forgot what it's called but it's like a v that's upside down I forgot what that fucking thing's called an n no, no, V upside down, like, that's floating in the air, like, oh, yeah. He said a V that's floating upside down, and my brain said, that's just an N, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, two, at a range of zero, objects have been observed striking Dash J with sufficient force to completely destroy them, leaving Dash J essentially unharmed. Dash J is currently at a safe distance from the Foundation headquarters, but Foundation scientists have suggested that a scientific significant change in Dash J's regular cir circular motion could constitute an XK class end of the world scenario. Isn't this just describing what the moon is? <laughs> oh, no, hey. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's just yeah, cause they're, they're sending probes, and uh, let's see, they're actually sending it into space, or is it actually on Earth? 
I'm actually looking. It doesn't fucking say if it's in space or on Earth. But seeing how the picture is surrounded by darkness that's given by the article itself, I would assume it's in space. Yeah. So this is just... This is just... I... <laughs> hey, at least it's better than, than what the Foundation did with the sun. Instead of shit... <laughs> It's in pros, they just threw D class at the sun. <laughs> uh, I don't I I don't know where this would go. What am I? I'm getting messaged. What's? Oh, it looks like they tried to nuke the moon, but it didn't work. How did you? How do you fail nuking the moon? I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to think that the SCP Foundation is incompetent. <laughs> Would this just be a what the fuck tier again? I think. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. My head hurts. This is just the moon. Oh, if it makes you feel any better, Hatchet, we're moving out of the joke SCPs. I am blood. <laughs> what? I am the concept of blood. Blood is I and I am blood. <laughs> <laughs>